And then mm. she said, she told me, oh, did you hear when she said, oh, the, they just kept asking me questions about you before she entered? Mm. And she fucked up and she went, oh. And then she tried to weasel her way out of it. Mm. Like, yeah, fucking pricks have fucking tried. I don't know if they've tried to set up uh, Clyde, like a clash. Yeah. Or tried to set up a... Uh... No, it's probably lovely, cause, especially because I but went she... in there the other day and I went, well, the problem is, isn't it? You're going to be sending some new Sheilas in now, Why did it? you keep saying that in the diary? You made yourself look like a right twat. You say, you say, I've made you look like a twat. You've done that. What? No, but you've you, made me look like a twat. No, but I never, I never said that. Like, because I think that's quite funny. I think that's really funny. Oh yeah, I do too. But like, it's I gonna was, come across very. Because funny. Because you come in there and and, and you like. Because people she, it didn't even have joking. anything to do with them. And Josie's just throwing them in there for good measure. She's like, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like Josie, just leave if you want to go. And she's like. Oh, well, then you can just spend time with your new shillers then, can't you? <laughs> you can just spend time with your new shillers. I'm like, why are they, why are it, they it even being brought into it? That's going to be hilarious to watch. I think that's quite funny. It is. Really funny. Uh, it's good in a way because it sort of made it look like it was set up. So I... <laughs> but because I had nothing to do with anything, Kiva, at all. Nothing. Joseph's mm -hmm. just throwing them in there whenever she felt like it. Every time this conversation got boring, she's like, oh, yeah, that's right, bring in the new shielders, just as long as the new shielders are into it. I wasn't like that at all. I bought you said shielders probably at least five times. Did I? Yeah. The new shielders. Will they, the they be allowed to air Sheila? I hope so, because I because said Australia, it Because so Australia, you don't like Sheila, don't you? Know? Oh, no, I've got no problem with it. No, I, but I thought Australia it was a frowned upon, frowned upon um, work here. Well, me and my friends think it's hilarious. Whenever we go on holiday, we meet Australian women. We're like, all right, Sheila. Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe it's not. Maybe I... I g'day, g'day, Sheila. Yeah, I always thought it was a, um, like, an, like, yeah, an inappropriate word in Australia. I, I don't know. I never used it. Oh. It's not where, even if it was. Where did it come from anyway? I probably I think it did come from Australia. I think. Yeah, Sheila? I knew that. But where did, why who made it up? Oh, I don't know. What's it about? It's just the accent when you I say I thought Sheila. it was like a like a, oh, a, 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 a demeaning word for like a woman like a I've like, heard that as well, that like, you don't like really a use like that. a Sheila. Like what are you looking at, Sheila? Like like Oh I didn't think it meant that like before. Low, meant... Like low, like low. Like I don't know, not like scum. Just like Sheila, like a, like a, like a sort of like a hillbilly girl or something. Like, Shut up. Yeah, that's how I always imagine it. Like no. Sheila. Fuck off, Sheila. I just thought like, it, I didn't know what I thought. I didn't. I always thought, it was, but thought obviously it, it gets used here. So. Can you believe she went him? Um, John James, if you think that's embarrassing, you should see what I've been in there all week doing. That's nothing. John James, did you have you cried more than once in the diary? Yeah, every time I go in there, I fucking because I hold it in oh, here. You, that's I hold it in here. I hold it in here, and as soon as I get in there, because when people ask me what's wrong, that's when, that's when I break down. But I can sort of go like this and suck it up. But as soon as Corin <laughs> comes up to me, he's like, oh, "You're right, you're right." What? I can't, I can't talk and hold it back at the same time. Well, so when we were having an argument in the bedroom, so when we've been like, in the diary room having a, a... what well, tonight? Yeah. Oh yeah, I was like, ages. Good, good, probably fifteen minutes. I had to wait. For me to fucking get a grip, so I could just start talking. Oh, That's the way for Jane. fucking ages. Oh because I've God, been in there crying. Because well, well, when Chubby left, I but was I just like, think about <sighs> mum. All I think about is mum. Like all I think about is what oh. would she be telling me to do right now? Like would because before the I left. The thing is, like you could say, oh, can you not go in there and tell them I'm a paranoid mess or whatever? But when you're in there crying, how the fuck do you think she feels then? No, she knows the sort of person I am, but she probably like. Um, I don't. I just wish that like. Because she was so excited when I came over here, I feel like I'd be letting her down if I left. But then at the same time, before I left, I said, don't put any pressure on me. I said, um, just if I come home, I come home. You just got to respect that I've done the best that I could. So if I walk, because I knew that I'm, I know the sort of person that I am and I know the person mm. that this situation may have got on the top of me. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I watched the walkers in the past and I thought, yeah, I can justify that. And then when Shabby walked, I was like, I can see why she did. And then, um, but I said to mum before I left, I was like, if I come home, don't give me a hard time about walking. If if I if I do walk, it's because I feel it's the right decision. Because they said to me, said, they said, what would your mum say? <laughs> Good thing. Yeah, they got right into it. Yeah, they, they. I said, I said, I'll give you his credit. I said, because you've put in a lot of effort to keep me here. Like they were not letting me go without. Fucking 
really. I didn't know it would be that hard. I went in there and I said, I don't want to hear any leches. I just want out. I just want to go. You know the situation. You don't have to pretend like you don't know. Because they know what you've been arguing about. I said, you saw the situation. I said, I and they said, why can't you resolve it with Josie? And I said, you know why. You just saw the whole fucking clip. Don't pretend. It's all making sense, though. Don't. I've been going in there and being like, oh, John James in the football kit. Oh, I love John. He's so nice. Oh, he's so lovely. He's so caring. He's so sensitive. Remember this, remember that, remember this. Then I've been going on about, you better not put any other sheilas in the house. And then the robot sang to me, don't you want me, baby? And then... Mm. <laughs> that is, I've gone in there cussing that he's... Fuck off your new sheilas, then. And then, I, and then I went, and I, I was meaning what I said on the bed. Like when Kiva was probably listening, because that was the only chance I got to speak to her. But I wanted to know then, because that's that was my decision whether to stay or leave. But I was the cells are going to tell you that. You're doing it, do you? And done it. Because I wasn't. I didn't want to say if you don't do this, then I'm not going to walk because I didn't want to put that pressure on you. But I knew what I was going to do. That's why I wanted to be 100 percent that you never wanted to talk to me ever again. I was like 100 percent, and you're like, yeah. I'm like, well. She was just being an unsensitive cow there at that stage. I just, I just didn't care. I didn't mind what you said, but I just didn't understand like the mixed signals because I thought you, you slowly like wanted to start talking to me again because really you're calling me a loser and that <laughs> and a wanker. Oh my god, John James went up. I didn't understand the mixed signals because you called me a loser and a wanker. <laughs> She's like, because she's like this. I ran the, I went, we went, we ran the task, and I knew that she was, she wanted to beat me, and she's like, and she's like, I'm like, what's that? So I think I went out to Ify, and I said, what, what, what's that? And she goes, that's a loser. <laughs> and I'm like, I, was, I went. So, so, so I was like, and that's when, and that's when I was like, fucking bitch, fucking call me a loser, and then rub it in, and that's when I started going off about how you went off about before the klaxon, because I found out that. You're calling me a loser. But do you not? Do you not think that Josie was trying to have fun with you then? I yeah, because I laughed. Like, I, I didn't know what um, she meant by that, but yeah, I laughed. I was being deadly serious. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I like, yeah, yeah, because I laughed. And then I went. Yeah, yeah, and then I looked at her over on the bench. <laughs> then I looked at her over on the bench, and I was like, and I was angry. I was like, snarling and that. And then she's like, oh my God. I knew what that. I knew what that meant. And then I was like, fucking bitch, fuck this shit. I don't care anymore. I thought I'm winning this task. And that's when I went up. How did you not? Because when I went up to you and I give you the smile. I, was, I stood right in front of your face and... Yeah, I knew, but I didn't... I, I, knew, I, I you knew that you were looking away, <laughs> but I thought, she's got to look at me eventually. No, I didn't know, did I? Oh, because well, uh, I knew that you knew what no, I was I doing. No, I didn't. I just looked away completely. You knew that I was going... Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, and I just, I just you ignored been, you the whole time, like... You must have been fucking seething inside. I would have been. I would have had to have walked away if someone did that to me. Yeah, I did, I did, I did the best thing, didn't I? You know, um... I, think no, just I regret before. it afterwards because I'm like, let's not put the friendship in the best direction. Here I am trying to fucking be friends with you again, and then, but once I found out that you're calling me a loser and a wanker, I was like, <laughs> here I am. And 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 then Mario comes up to me and he's like, um, Josie just wants to know if you can she can wear one of your hats. And I'm like, of course she can wear one of my hats. And then you did my washing for me, and then okay. and then and then you offered me food, and I'm like, and then and then I said, hey, oh, I asked you a question. You're like, you fucking talking to me? Well, well, you are wearing my hat and you did just offer me a bit of pizza. So, um, yeah, I probably am talking to you. Is there a problem with that? I don't want to talk to you. But you're, sort of, we'd you're sort of wearing this. my hat, Jose, and you, you just... I know, but we're just having a laugh about it and a rena reminiscence. I'd like it. to talk about something else, <laughs> though. Because it's funny. But do you know what? I, I, one thing I would just say is that I don't, I don't, I don't expect anyone to try and understand me because I just don't, I, I don't understand myself. I didn't mind that you wore my hat. I seriously didn't, but I didn't... Ask you to borrow their fucking hat. I'd rather get sun. Oh. I'd rather get sunstruck. I don't think I understand myself really, but I'm beginning to slowly understand myself more and more. No, yeah, oh, they said. They said to me. They said, um, "What are you learning from the Big Brother experience?" And I said, "Well, obviously, everyone learns a bit about themselves." I said, "I didn't realise how. I thought I was a little bit more tolerant. Mm. Corinne's teaching me that I'm not that tolerant." I said, "I didn't know. I knew I was argumentative, but I didn't know I was that argumentative." And have they asked you what and it I is about Corinda? Because I was, I was winning that task at all costs. I didn't care if I had to take you out. What's the task? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Have oh, no, I wouldn't have taken you out. But I wanted to win that only because you called me a loser. I, I am. So 
I never wanted to win anything. Oh, you've so, never seen that before. I've never wanted to win anything so much. I've never seen life. that before. In, that topped indoor soccer and everything. As soon as I found out that meant loser. <laughs> and then I did it back to you. And all the <laughs> yeah, of course I would. And if they said, who would you pick to trade back? Okay. He's 19. We have nothing in common. And that might be me being shallow, thinking that all 19s are the same. And what if Big Brother said, if he. You can trade any of the other housemates in exchange for Nathan Hibbert, you think? Super. <laughs> Best friends to the end, I think. <laughs> I'm just going to be myself from now on. I'm not going to be afraid to say what I want to say. <laughs> These breadsticks are too nice. I'm going to eat. <laughs>